and now it's dead. Don't worry, I, I saved everybody's lives. Psst. I'm surprised I was that calm, to be honest. Yeah, no. Oh. If I see, if I see like a spider running around the room, like, uh, like I, everything else doesn't matter anymore. I, like, I, I need that thing like out now. <laughs> so yeah, so now yeah. I just thought, so when, what's the earliest you can fight this guy? Besides glitching. <laughs> there's, there's an end to the portal. I didn't even know that. Um. So yeah, besides glitching, what's the earliest you can do this? I don't know. I think. Probably, probably, right. probably, probably like seventy if I had to guess. Yeah, that like you can fight this guy early, and then like he only has like one, like one, one face of the fight. Um, and oh yeah, then, it's still, like gigantic here. Yeah, and then. Oh my god, he's huge! What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> You're back again. How is he doesn't even have a talk I animation. Nice. You. Wait a minute, I said that last Wait. Time. I wouldn't want to sound like No, wait, no you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try He's not supposed to say this because this, he, this is what he said when you tried him to the lot. He you rematch him. So, the, the game expects you to fight this guy twice. That's funny. Pocus, pocus. So, yeah, um... What I miss? Not... <laughs> Uh, you, you missed the worst minigame uh, known to man, um, but w okay, I don't know if I'd go that far, but it was pretty bad. Um, and we, besides that, um, we're fighting Ripto, so we're near the end. And the dialogue, and the dialogue is broken. Yeah, because you, you, you can fight Ripto uh, earlier on in the game, so like the game kind of just, um, the dialogue it just <laughs> expects you to have fought him before, but you don't ever- Yeah, like back again. Yeah, you only have to fight this guy once. This is his 100, but this is the 100% dialogue. Yeah. So like. Yeah. So. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just resets. Focus. <laughs> now what? Now he does. Done. Come big. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, he just keeps turning giant. Yeah, the, it's not, like, compared to the Spyro 2 fight, this is, like, not great. It's basically just a bunch of running around doing the same thing. Are you sure it's ice? Okay, now it's ice. What did you think? Bubbles. No. You kill him with bubble breath. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we get it, we get it. Bigger? Faster and stronger too. Okay, I remember the hitbox on this last phase had been a bit wonky. I forgot that he looked like this, holy fuck. <laughs> yeah. It'd be funny if, like, the final hit was bubble breath, you just trap him. <laughs> oh my god. Can you like no? So you died. You have to redo the whole thing. I don't know. I need. I need health. Cause these this guy's hitboxes are like so jank. Oh, that's what I need to do. Okay. Be nice. Let's see. Oh, hit the staff. Yeah. Please die, please die. You wanna die? Okay. What the- Oh! Oh, I didn't- oh, damn it. Well, let's see what happens. Okay. Okay, we're just back on this phase. Alright. Run. Yeah. Youch. Given what the original plot of this game was, I imagine we're doing nasty or like close to fuse or something. That looks like it. That would I I wouldn't be surprised, yeah. Cause like that does give me more no right. that does this does give me more nasty vibes than Ripto. Uh. Okay, I get it. Notes. Run. He just 
He does three shots. Yeah. That hitbox wow. and staff is very weird. Uh, okay, I didn't. Okay, was... Keep jump. Uh, yeah, keep the camera on him. And when he uh, when he starts slamming, run. Yeah. Yeah. It's a. Uh, <laughs> it would help if the if my if the camera wouldn't like. Okay. Wouldn't like keep what is fighting the me. On right now? Passive or, like, active? It should be active. It should be active. Yeah. Also, we don't want to run a good. Okay. Yeah, because like, half the time the camera just doesn't let me like do any. Like, it doesn't let me move it half the time. He always does three shots. I listen for like. Pew, pew, pew. I mean, those things are homing in really well. Just, yeah. just kill me. Just kill me. I love you. <laughs> or okay. <Wait>. What happened? <laughs> I just <laughs> I just stopped moving. <laughs> All right. Okay. Are you just gonna reveal your leak point now? <laughs> right. I mean, the, camera jank aside, this isn't a bad final boss, but it's, compared to the Sparrow 2 fight, this is um, Are we? pretty weak source. But it, it's not bad, I, I guess. Mean, that, it's that's fine. Fair. Spyro's tracker never final boss is pretty not great. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like Nasty Nork is not a, a boss. No, yeah, no. Spyro one, Spyro one's bosses are not like I. Okay, I. Yeah, I see the the, the bosses in Spyro one more as like um, regular levels with like um, a slightly beefed up enemy. <laughs> I think the only one that's even remotely a boss is like Shemp. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess there's the, um, the, the, I think the boss that's the most, uh, uh, challenging is probably the, um, the robot guy, but even then, the like, keeper. huh? That's a Pac-Man world boss. Metalhead. Metalhead, Metal yeah. Because at yep. least, th there is, like, some threat of dying in that fight, at least. Please unveil your weak point. Jump. Oh come on! He's really tracking, uh, tracking us out, isn't he? I hear some of that kind of um, stock music, but like, bro. Yeah. Sounds like one of the year of Dragon Boss themes. Hmm. Why the hell are you like? Maybe closer to him? Doesn't matter. How's my audio. You sound like you're a little bit far away, but it sounds okay. I only have Run. one of my earbuds plugged in, and it's yeah. like the one earbud that actually works. But I don't know. What Bro. are you- Bro! Is he broken? I don't know. Jump. This game refuses to die. Is that it? D uh, dude! <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure. This, this guy does not want to. This game really. Man, he really doesn't want this game to end. Apparently. This is a game that doesn't end. Please don't remind me of that song. <laughs> the heck was that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is this something else I can do? Let's keep firing lightning at him and see what happens. Die. Die. Okay. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> okay, let's- alright. Well... We'll just try fighting him normally again. Bro, I- No. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. 
Well, is it that easy? Jump when I tell you to, Spyro. Good lord. What is happening? Oh. No, just, no, no, just... Okay. Uh... Why are there no health pods? I don't know. Are we seriously gonna lose our eyes on this? I yes, hope not. Just before, they, yeah. before the game crashes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the lesson is he only stops when he wants to. Oh, also after yeah. you hit him, get ready to jump again. Okay, and don't be anywhere near him. <laughs> hey, buddy. How's it going? Just don't breathe, actually. Wait! He just froze! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. That was good. Okay, now run. Now he's getting into the tree uh. jump again. Again. Oh! Yes, yes. More, more of that, please. Jump. Ah. Uh. Run, run. I don't know how many tits this guy has. A lot. Too many. Well, well, it'll end eventually. Yeah, I, I like how every time I try to be nice to this game, say, like, oh, the, 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 like, the, this. Now we're gonna be like, RNG fight. Yeah, it's like, th this, uh, while it's not as good as a Spyro 2 fight, at least it's not a hard, it's not a, a bad fight, I guess. And then it just proceeds to not work. Good game. You ready to jump? If I knew the pattern, then I might, I might prefer doing this over fighting the sword for the first time. Uh, yeah, I guess. First time? I I do like the sorceress, uh, the the second fight, but I will I will agree that the the first fight, fight. the first fight, yeah, the one where you're in the saucer thing, um, like. Oh oh. I will. I will agree that the Wait. first fight with uh, uh, the sorceress is a bit janky. Run. Run. Okay. We're at, that was the, we had four hits, so one more should do it. Jump. They really have to go show. Thank God. Ugh. Do you have a talk animation? <laughs> Wait. No, oh, I see. Is that load fast? Oh yeah, and the uh, uh, cr crush and gulp are nowhere to be seen, so I guess they're dead. <laughs> I put my faith in this staff and twice it has failed me! Dragons! Dragonflies! I can't win! I can't win! Well, that's what you get for playing with your little sticks. Silly Ripto. Don't you know magic and dinosaurs don't mix? You haven't had the last of me, you little... He is a dinosaur. Be back, and you'll be sorry. Every last one of you will be sorry! Yeah, I bet. And we never canonically see him again. Sparrow just awkwardly looks at the camera for like point half a second. As normal as fairy tales go, anyway, pal. I'll tell you what, though, guys. We weren't just gonna stand by and let Ripto ruin the baby dragon. <laughs> I'm just looking at the awkward baby dragon animations. Who writes Sparks? Or the dragonflies. Well, everything is finally back to normal. Isn't it, Spyro? Well, that was a game that existed. <laughs> no. <sighs> uh. And then we have... Oh, God, um, look eyes. And then we have, um... Like... Glitchy eyes dragonfly image. Like, why would they curse us one last time like this? Is it me, or is the ground texture also wrong? 
I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised at this point. Yeah, the game sucks. Um, uh, we've said all we need. We needed to. Um, watch the. You know, what the you know what the sad thing is? Yeah. This is um, this this commentary was still better than our and than our uh, Duncan Country Returns one. Well, probably because it's like, <laughs> well, we. Game's shorter. The the game's shorter and also like, um, we. Well, I, I generally had an idea of what I wanted to say going into this. Let us, uh, let us at least give a round of applause to the GameCube 14 for making a somewhat functional port. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, the, the, there's a, one other thing, like, the the, the, the teams, not only had, did, have they, like, never made a game before, like, before this, but they also had to make the game for two separate systems, so, like, yeah, good luck with that. Uh. Well, since we're done with this, can I just go? Hey, wait, why, why is there PS2 like credits in a GameCube game? <laughs> they just had to keep oh, everything in. I guess. Well, since I, basically. Okay. Well, since I gave my thoughts already, can I just can I leave? Um. Well, <laughs> it, 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 can I go home? Is there? <laughs> is, are there any? Uh, okay. Are there any uh, general thoughts uh, left rem remaining? Um, 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 music, music is decent, but that's it. <laughs> Final level was the best level in the game. Outside of um, the uh, ladder uh, mini game, yeah, I'd agree with that. All right, I'm done. I'm gonna leave now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you too. Goodbye. Uh, do you have anything to add? Dragonfly, it's like flickering between existence and the void. <laughs> I guess that's the human condition after all. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. Uh, like poor went out for the developers and artists and voice actors who worked on this. They they tried. Mm. Yeah, I have. I yeah. For the guys that actually made this, I um I. I don't hold any ill will to the, towards those guys because they and the issues with this game weren't their fault. Um, it was like Universal was, was just it's just like the worst company to deal with, honestly. So they did what they could, and yeah, I I, I have no interest in playing this game again. I'll just I'll just say that right now. Not the best post Insomniac Spyro game, not by a long shot, but it was the one I felt came. Pardon me, it was the one on consoles that I felt kind of came the closest to matching the vibe. Yeah, it, it definitely feels the closest to a straight sequel to the trilogy. I will say that because um, Hero's Tale, um, like it has elements of the no, like the the um, Insomniac games, but it, that's, I feel like that's the start where they went in a different direction, and whether or not you like that is, um, is, like, your own, uh, opinion. I don't have any say in that, because I've never played any of those games, but, yeah. I like how it just and abruptly, right I like how it just abruptly stops. I hate this one. They were, this game, this game is done with, set with itself. Yeah. So yeah, if you go in, it's just 100%, yeah. Cool, so, yeah. And your reward is nothing. Have a nice day. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, um, I guess, yeah, like, it's, this is the most, it's the most, of the console follow-ups, and I guess it's the most Spyro of all of them. Mm-hmm. Unfortunate that's like unfortunate that just like the ambition was kind of wasted. Yeah. Like, this was the last game to kind of use like the old art style on console. Most of the old VAs, Stuart Copeland until he came back to compose like one track for Reignited. 
I, yeah, I will say in terms of the, with the voice acting, I will say this at the very least. Most of the voice acting was still uh, pretty solid overall. I'd say I, I, I don't think it was like noticeably better or worse than like the trilogy was. Yeah, it's, a, it's about on par. Like, I mean, not as, from the cutscene dialogue wasn't great, but like, yeah, everyone everyone sounds fine. Direction is okay. Like yeah, the di the dialogue can be argued, but like the actual like direct like the actual like voice uh, performances, I think were um, pretty decent. Margaret. She's done other stuff. Like, woman up. Margaret Tang has done their game for Universal, like uh, Crash Nitro Kart, and yeah, they do a lot of. Tang does a lot of games. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is just perhaps more so than the glitches or just the short length or some annoying mini games. I think this this game's biggest sin is just pissed away potential. Yeah, that's basically the main gist of it. Like, this game is 20 years old, and while Spyro is undoubtedly in a better place now, I think it still hasn't quite escaped the shadow of Enter the Dragonfly. Mm. Yeah. That's, uh... We probably don't get to the Legend of Spyro and Skylanders without this game happening and probably burning some goodwill with fans and critics. Yeah, yeah, because um, from what I understand, Harry's Tale was basically um, like doomed in a lot of ways because of how this game damaged uh, the like Spyro's reputation. So I feel like because of that, th that's probably a major reason why they did a reboot in the first place, to just try and uh, just start over. <laughs> um, that in mind, I don't entirely blame them. But... Yeah, I again, I, I've never played, like, the only other Spyro game I play beyond this is the Reignited Trilogy, and that's not even a new, like, a new set of games. So, like, anything beyond this uh, for the Spyro series is, like, completely unfamiliar to me, so. I guess the cruel irony of that is that Pardon me, the cruel irony, I guess, of the reboot situation, I guess, is that, yeah, um, whenever X developer decides to make a real Spyro 4, yeah, as much as I've kind of said, there's good ideas in this game that they could probably, like, borrow and expand upon, that they're gonna probably, they're gonna probably only pick up their, they're probably going to divert a good deal, and, mm. like, I would sooner expect, like, stuff from the Legend Trilogy, like, Cinder to come back before they reference anything from this. Yeah, I feel like they, I feel like they'd want to stay far away from this game as possible because uh, pe when when people think of anything from Enter the Dragonfly, they uh, don't <laughs> tend to react very well, um, and I feel like they don't, especially with how well like Re Reignited Trilogy went. Uh, I don't think they want to. Um, like, what, what should we call it? I don't think they want to risk um, going down this rabbit hole again and just kind of forget it, it happened. And um, while that, I would like to see some elements from this game return. Um, I feel like if they do, it it, it would have to be um, like done in a in a different way or um, done done in such a way that you can barely even notice the origin point of them, I guess, if that makes any sense. Steal the original plan plot, steal the dragonflies, the elemental breath, some of the level aesthetic, a few of the mini-games, do the new species, you know, everything except the level design. Yeah, pretty much. Like, honestly, yeah, like, this music, is, the music, yeah, I didn't really cover this too much, but yeah, the music in this game is pretty good. I, I think I actually was kind of humming more tracks from this and that than the other than the prior Spyro games. Mm. Yeah, the music's hopefully, pretty pretty hopefully solid. Didn't the, hopefully didn't phone this in. So. Yeah, yeah, like music music wise, uh, like um, like design wise, voice acting, uh, all that yeah, all that stuff is solid. It's just when it comes to the actual game part, like that's where things just fall flat in 
a, a ton of ways, and like that's the main. Huh? Go on. Yeah. You know, well, yeah. I was just saying like that. That's the main. That that's the main part. Um, that's important, and yeah, it's just. Uh, and like like I've been like I've been saying like even when I try to praise some things uh, about this game, it kind of also just shoots shoots itself in the foot and uh, does something that um, just goes against it. So it's like the um, I. I said how I, I enjoyed the, at least the idea of the sliding mini games, and while I still do, um, it doesn't like the, the jump in the jumping is really stiff, and the the camera doesn't really work for you very well, and it's just kind of janky. And then there's also the fact that like the Repto fight at the end, um, while it's still not the greatest fight in the world or anything, it's still like a decent enough like battle. But then it just, the, like the, the final phase there just kind of seemed to, like, Ripto seemed to just get vulnerable when it, whenever he wanted, and, like, the camera fights you constantly, and it's just, I don't know, it's, it's just, it feels like the game just doesn't want to be played half the time. I don't think it wants to be developed half the time. <laughs> uh, what was I going to say? Honestly, I feel like that's something that we... Like, people piss on this game a lot, like, yeah. but I feel like what well, people don't kind of, people don't really cover, pardon me, something that people do not cover enough is probably the camera. Yeah, the camera, yeah, I, I don't know if, I don't know how much it came through, like, just by watching, but I was constantly trying to fight the camera, and it would, like, rarely ever, like, respond, so a lot of the time, uh, I just kind of had to deal with, like, the view I was given, which was not always ideal. Like, I could... Uh, like, the game didn't glitch as much as I expected it to, because, I guess, GameCube port. Right. The thing, thing the is animations just... are silly, but we, I could live with that. The game was, you know, up... The rest of the game was up to snuff. But... Yeah, the thing is, like... Um, the, th the thing with, like, this game is that... If, um... It can be really funny if it's, like, really like bugging out and stuff but when it isn't it's kind of just a generic and boring spyro game which is like one of the worst kinds of bad games you can have honestly i think that's that, that's basically all, all i have to say about this game i've exhausted everything i can think of Title is just like a, it's like a twisted inversion of Wrath of Cortex. Yeah, like it can, it walks like a Spyro game, but it doesn't quite jump like a Spyro game. Yeah, like by comparison, Wrath of Cortex kind of doesn't quite nail the aesthetics of Naughty Dog's trilogy, but it's a lot more competently designed because you know Traveler's Tales had more experience and more time. Yeah, like I think there's also, I guess there's also the fact that like. Um, crash games are inherently a lot more simple in comparison, so, um... Also that, that's, that's a fair point, like... There's, so, like, making a crash game in, like, a year or whatever time they had is a lot more, uh, reasonable than, like, making a Spyro game in that kind of time. Crash's linearity proves to be a boon yet again. Mm. Uh, I sure I'm glad a more more non-linear crash game didn't get rushed during this period. <sighs> Screw Universal. Oh man. Yeah. And um oh, yeah. I think that oh, is final thoughts like sorry, go on. Well yeah, I I was gonna uh transition into what was happening next, but uh, did you go final thoughts? To remain yeah um there really weren't any winners with this game mm. like defunct developers who are probably going to be who may very well remain punchlines within the gaming community for the rest of their days which is just that's not really fair i will say this according to the what happened video the uh one of the main guys that worked on this game actually um helped develop spider-man ps4 so um he's definitely uh living a much a better gaming like career so that's at least imagine imagine meeting ted price 
Yeah, so there's at least that. And uh, yeah, Ted Price was like really harsh on this game. So there's also that. Yeah, Insomniac had nothing to do with this game, but you know, even they lost. Yeah, yeah, I remember. They got blamed for this game, even though they didn't develop it. Yeah, I think I, 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 this is. I'm kind of paraphrasing, but I think uh, the the quote from Ted Price is something like like uh, I would like I was nice to people when they asked me about the game, like having not played it yet, and then he's it's just like, and then I played it, <laughs> and then it's like, what's worse is that some people think we. <laughs> we played Enter the Dragon. Played. Some people think we made Enter the Dragonfly. It was an absolute travesty, or something like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. Um. Ruin careers. Cripple the franchise. Like. Yeah, I just said. Let me rephrase that. In damage the franchise and. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I guess they met their quarter four goal. I guess I don't. I don't think it's hyperbole to call this the the Sonic 06 Aspiro. <laughs> it's about as close I can. It's the closest equivalent. Yeah. At least no one. At least Spyro didn't get kissed by a human. <laughs> Put that on the back of the box. <laughs> yeah, there's not at least, but. Yeah, uh, I think we've exhausted uh, commentary for this. So I will never be on a commentary for another spiral game. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I I might at some point uh, do go through the Reignite trilogy, but in terms of like other spiral games, I I don't have any plans to do like LPs for the other games. I do want to check out um, the ones I haven't played at some point, so there will probably be streams, but. I wouldn't expect LPs of them, at least for the, um, the the at least for the near future. I might change my mind depending on how I feel about those games when I play them. But um, yeah, I'm not going to promise anything for now. Um, in terms of what we're doing next, though, it should be Crash to Insanity, so um, that should be fun. <laughs> and we'll definitely have a lot more to say about games being rushed and all that. I'm, I'm assuming, so, yeah. Six generations kind of sucked, didn't it? <laughs> it did have some issues. I really, I really do enjoy the sixth generation, but it, it had problems. Like, so many PS1 IPs that just got kicked in the nuts. Yeah. It's a like, shame. Between... Man, I grabbed... Like between for Crash, Spyro, and I guess Tomb Raider's initial PS2 de de debuts, pardon me. Yeah, um, I think Crash is the clear winner there. Yeah, I mean, it had a lot. It, we had a lot of like new guys that like picked up the slack, but like the the PS1 uh, mascots just kind of got thrown in the dumpster. <laughs> but yeah. When are you playing Angel of Darkness, Harry? Angel. What is that game? I've, I've heard of that before. That is the Core Design 6 Tomb Raider game for consoles. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'd have to look into that. Uh, but yeah. I got nothing else, so, um... Yeah, um, I guess just... Take care of yourself, um... Take care of yourselves, uh, talk to your family, and the next time you complain about a sequel to a game series you like, just remember, it could be so much worse. Yep. Alright, well, thanks for watching this godforsaken playthrough. I am never playing this game again. <laughs> Don't make me. And, uh, we'll see you guys in Crash to Insanity. Uh, Harry, I'm checking IGN now. Uh, it says that... Toys for Bob is making a new Spyro 4 and it's just going to be reimagining this game. Oh god. No! <laughs> Alright, we'll see you guys later.